sweet home Alabama. It's Bama Tony. You know who it is. Roll Tide, baby. Roll Tide. It's all about that day. I don't know if you can see me all in here, but hey, man. Alabama, I just wanted to stop by. Hey, Alabama is going to have one of the most dynamic offenses in the country. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be so fun to watch. Uh, I'm off today. Cheers. Having a cold one. I'm not going to be able to make another video for probably six months. I'm going to be so busy. So I figured today would be a good time to take advantage of that. I am kidding. Uh, I did figure today was a good day to uh, to do a video simply because tomorrow I got to get up about 5 a.m., be on the job by 7. I'm helping a buddy of mine. You know, he owns a construction business and he builds decks, uh, you know, big pool decks and House decks is something I've been doing for 20 years, so um, I'm okay at it myself, but um, this is a very, very big one that we're going to be starting, and it's a house deck. We're going to have to do a little demo when we get there and tear down what they've got, and it's going to have like 20 stairs, you know, so think about those stringers. Those three stringers are going to be pretty long, all right, so we got to do that. We've got to cut those. Um, uh, it's going to have a roof system, cedar beams, probably tongue and groove ceilings, I would imagine. And, hey, I'll get to water seal it later on, make extra money there, right? So that's all. That's always good. But, hey, you know, this is something I vowed to never do as carpentry work again unless it was for myself. And I'll be damned if I'm not out here doing it. Uh, so, you know, shows when you got to work, man, you got to, you know, and, um, my business has slowed down somewhat since I have since tax period, and everybody's taking their Panama City beach trips, and you know, and it's like it's it's just I'm getting jobs, but it's just it's few and far between right now. So um, I had to do what I had to do to make some extra money. Of course, you got to keep the lights on, right? Um, food on the table, whatever. So. But hey, man, uh, I just wanted to stop by. And talk about the Alabama Crimson Tide. Because I don't see anybody that's going to pose any type of threat to Alabama, really, honestly. And I'm not trying to sound like one of these obnoxious, spoiled Alabama fans. I'm just telling you like it is. I mean, who's going to beat us? If anybody would and we're going to slip up on a Saturday, it's going to be a loss to A&M, LSU, or Auburn. That would be the only three teams I think that's even going to have a legitimate shot at beating us. And that's not going to happen because we're going to steamroll your asses. So I firmly believe that. Um, I don't see state. They got state predicted at three and nine, which I think Mississippi State's going to be a lot better than three and nine. Okay. Um, as far as the East goes, I don't know how good Tennessee will be. I don't know how good Florida will be. I don't know how good Missouri will be. Kentucky could win it all. I'm just kidding. But, look, we'll see what happens. I mean, Florida will be better. Tennessee's going to be somewhat better. Missouri may be. I don't know. Uh, see, all this stuff I'm reading on paper, you know, you're not going to know until they hit the field. And then, you know, and you have to play it by ear and see see what they're going to do, you know, because you can slip up any given Saturday and drop a game. Alabama's done it to Ole Miss. I mean, we had O.J. Howard, which is six foot six, tied in. That we lost the game. He ended up being great. Don't get me wrong. I love OJ Howard. But man, I mean, if you're six foot six, you've got to be able to cover better than that. I mean, your body's big. You know, you're six and a half foot tall. You've got to be able to cover better than that. But, um, so we lost a couple games to Ole Miss under the Saban era. Uh, so, but I don't see Ole Miss being any type of competition to Alabama this season. LSU, uh, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, we got the, them in Death Valley. Um, but who is as successful as Alabama at beating LSU anywhere, Death Valley included? Who? Who is successful as Alabama at beating LSU? Nobody. Alabama owns LSU Tigers, okay? Uh, for right now, I mean, you know, we do still own Auburn. We've got the overall series. We're a lot more successful than Auburn will ever be. 
I mean, no, but Auburn is beating us from time to time. They're getting a win. You know, they're taking advantage of our team being riddled with injuries. And that's not just an excuse. It's the truth. You know, we have four starting linebackers out in the Iron Bowl, and they're out here pounding their chest because they beat us down there in that fucking hayfield they called Jordan Hare. Hey, they did beat us. I'm not taking that away from them. But, you know, you have to take into consideration, hey, you know, Alabama had four starting linebackers out. Maybe that's why they lost. Well, thank God that the college football playoff committee saw it that way, and we squeezed in there. Um, So we were able to get in over Ohio State, and I figured we would. I figured we would. You know, it's a road game. It's your in-state rival. We had one loss, which was Dauber. Why not put Alabama in? You know, so, and I'm just glad and, and thankful that they um, that they thought the way I did as far as, and I had Alabama fans coming on my Facebook timeline on, on the post that I made and was saying that I was just out of my mind. What kind of drugs you on and all this kind of stuff, you know. I was like, hey, man, I'm not on drugs. I've been following college football for over four decades, and if they think like I do, Alabama will get in. Alabama will squeeze in over Ohio State. Ohio State got hammered by Iowa. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Late in the season, they got beat by Oklahoma, then they got hammered by Iowa. You know, this is a team that isn't even ranked in the top 25 that hammered you. Okay, so why not put Alabama in? So they thought like I did, and, hey, we squeezed in. And after those injuries, you know, healed up. Look what Alabama's defense did to Clemson. Just ask Clemson. Number one Clemson. Face number four, Bama. They couldn't move the football hard on Alabama, man. They uh they annihilated Clemson's ass. Got them out of there. All right, man. Then, of course, you know, Georgia did what they did to Oklahoma, and then there it was. Two SEC teams. And, you know, they're facing off for the national championship. And we all know what happened on second and 26 from Tua Tonga Vailoa, baby. I mean, man, hey, you know. It was beautiful. He took a big sack, and then just he came. He maintained his composure, came back and threw the touchdown strike to Smitty. Man, God, I, you know, I'm just telling you right now. I've played basketball all through my life. Played you know, a lot of ball, and man, I've never had a vertical leap that high. I went almost in the ceiling fan with my head. So. It was amazing, and if it's any indication to what Tua did, we're going to be just fine. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I can sit here all day, man, and throw out all these great players that, that we've got coming. I mean, we got a talent running a mile long down the pine. So, you know, it's going to be outstanding. I cannot wait uh, till September rolls around. I want to hear maybe from some of you guys in the East, you know, because as it stands right now, and, and you know, and – I'm not a Georgia fan. I'm not a Florida fan. I'm not a Tennessee fan, obviously, uh, or Missouri or Kentucky. I'm an Alabama fan. I have been for over four decades. My mother was dressing me in Alabama apparel in 1978. All right, so I was born in 73 when I was five years old. You know, running around the house, and, you know, drinking my apple juice, screaming, Roll Tide! You know, so... I, I've been an Alabama fan uh, forever. Uh, so, but... As far as I see, Georgia has got a a pretty easy path to the to Atlanta. You know, uh, I you know Florida will be better. So will Tennessee, but will they be good enough to win the East? As it stands right now, you got Kirby Smart over there, a defensive damn guru. I mean, what do you think he did? What do you think Kirby Smart and Nick Saban did? They created number one defenses, which was ranked in all four major categories. Several different times. Defense wins championships. Kirby Smart will not field. He will not field a slouchy defense. I'm just telling you, if you think he is, you're wrong. And he's going to have a pretty good offense. So that's what I'm saying. It's going to be it's going to be tough to beat Georgia, but Florida's always been the beast of the East. And uh, so, you know, they can always, they can find a way to get back up in there. I'm not saying they can't. So, Oh, Gator, you know, maybe you can uh, touch on that a little bit and tell us what you think, uh, how you, what you think your chances are as a Florida Gator. And anybody that's uh, maybe Magnum, I think Magnum may be still making videos. So, hey, Magnum, come up, man. Let's see what you got to say about the dogs. 
Um, BVD, I know he is an avid Tennessee video maker. I'm sure we'll hear from him. So maybe I can inspire some of you guys to, uh, to cam up and a cattle dog. What the hell? Fear the fort. What are you sun devils going to do out there, man? You know, hey, I, I love watching all college football. I'm a college football fan. It doesn't matter who's playing, whether it's Bowling Green, Toledo, I don't give a shit. I'm watching that game, you know, so humanitarian bowl, fight hunger bowl, I'm watching it. Uh, so it's just it's just in my blood, man. There ain't nothing, the atmosphere, there's nothing better than college football. Pro football, I love it too, but it's nothing on the level of college football. So let's hear from you. Let's see what uh, maybe AK Brown. Hey, AK. Come on, man. If you're still around, maybe you're watching this video, get on camera and maybe uh, talk about what you think Alabama's chances are. I know we'll have uh, one of the best defenses in the country and the most dynamic offense in the nation. I know we will. So it's going to be interesting. Hopefully the secondary uh, will be improved. Um, so we'll just have to see. I, I'm pretty, I, from what I've read, but you know, it's on paper. You, you don't know until they get out there, but the secondary will be improved. So we'll see what happens with that. You know, I just can't forget the secondary with Mark Barron and those man. <laughs> you know that that was that was uh, a great great secondary, and uh, you know, Clinton Dix out there, great. You know, and uh, you also got. Um, um, you know, Minka Fitzpatrick was great, man. I mean, you know, look what he did for Alabama. So all these guys are superstars, and that in Alabama Crimson Tide is a pipeline to the NFL. You know, ain't no question about that. So, hey, I'll talk to y'all later. I got to get rolling. I got to go up here to the store and get a few things before I prepare to get up at 5 a.m. So, Good talking to y'all again. I hope your day is going good, and I will see y'all shortly. Roll Tide Roll, baby.